Now we are going to have another presentation from Foy Shiver from APWG. He's going to talk to us about uh, their uh, initiative, global initiative in awareness, para pienza conectate. Um, everybody remembers who I am, right? <laughs> but uh, I've been told we have, how many is it going say? 84 participants online. So for those that may not have been here this morning, I'll just as Lucy said, I'm Foy Shiver from APWG, and we're going to talk about um, our Stop Think Mech messaging campaign. So, a few years back, we started looking at, you know, APWG's always been involved in user awareness and education. And one of the things, we got a group together, there are about 20 international organizations originally back in 2010 for the initial meeting. And one of the things we started talking about, how to raise awareness, what can we do to, you know, kind of upgrade our end users. And one of the things is, you know, users, when they go online, they get all this information, they're getting, seeing stuff in the press, they're seeing these scary reports. Um, many of them just give up and say, I'm just not gonna participate online, I'm not gonna do my banking or whatever, because they're kind of concerned from all these different things uh, they keep hearing, all this bad stuff. So kind of the consensus was what we need to do is come up with a general message where everybody's telling the same story, basically. Um, so in 2011, 2010, 2011, with the, these 20 organizations, we actually went through some research, some testing, brought in user groups, tried different messages and different approaches. And that's where we came up with what became Stop, Think, Connect. And what we called our messaging convention program. So this is, is just a, to a collection of, of users and companies coming together to give the same message, to get out and speak to the users, um, things they need to be concerned about, and looking at it from a global scale. So initially it was, it was a U.S.-based uh, program. Um, the actual entity, Stop, Think, Connect, has been established as its own standalone nonprofit. It's jointly owned by APWG and NCSA. Um, whereas NCSA is primarily um, US based and they work um, with DHS a lot and other organizations to help with produce um, cybersecurity awareness programs. APWG has taken on the role for more of the international output and to get this globally adopted and, and get more organizations and companies using it as as we go forward. Watch where you step. So the goal here is um, was to come up with a globally unified online cybersecurity program and then delivering that program with messages to the users, make it available in as many languages and as many um, the areas of the world as possible, understanding that culturally there's going to be some changes within different areas, and that's where we try to get partners in the local areas to do some of the translations to make them more appropriate. And looking at a, a um, what they like to call a, a public health model, um, where we're all looking at this as one big problem, and then we share the information when you find a solution or something that works. Um, so this continues on the public health model here. You know, um, a low cost alternative to a global imperative to, to get this around. Um, aligning with our national priorities as well as those as, as different treaty organizations like OAS um, and these type companies. Um, and then connecting us all together and creating an environment where we can share uh, this air information and keeping it all with, within. So, you know, governments can use it, organizations can use it. Um, the real stipulation when someone joins, so there's, there's different levels of joining. You have your, you know, a government may join at one level because they have their goals, but an individual company can become a partner as well. And the only stipulation to a partner organization is when you sign up to use the products, you have full access to the information, the resources, the materials. The only thing we say is that you use it to educate your users not to sell products. If you're selling products with it, then you're breaking the, the confines of the agreement you sign when you come on board. So for a government, what we're doing here is, since we've already built a program, we've already shown it works, and we've provided resources and materials. You know, a, a government entity doesn't have to redo all this work themselves. 
They can take this and use it as is and use it to create their own programs within their um, countries. So by establishing this, this global push, okay, so we did set it up as its own entity. Um, it's a 501c3, so it's a full nonprofit within the U.S. organization. As far as that's concerned as we're going out, um, the program has been tested and defined through um, awareness. And, the, and then we're using our logistics within APWG and our member consortium to help get this word out and spread it within the different areas. You know, when we come to a country, you know, within Europe uh, or within Asia, we've, we've worked with several of our member organizations to help, help them get this information out and adopt it into the different environments. So right now within, Met, we look at some of the media assets we have available. Okay, so the slogan and the campaign have been translated into several languages. As we bring on new country um, partners, we try to adopt it into their particular region for what they need. Um, if you go up on site now, there's six or seven. We have tips pages at stopthinkconnect.org that are in several different languages already. And then we try to clone the website and the different materials to make them available in the different in the different regions. And this again is where the partners come in. Part of the agreement is if you help translate or you create some custom materials, that you put those back in the program to help everyone else. Um, so you've got lots of collaborative experience here. Like we said, we're working with OAS, Europol, the Commonwealth of Nations. Um, we've been adapted, adopted in several different countries. I hope that's the next slide. Here, I wanted to show you this one. So right now, these are the countries that have adopted Stop, Think, Connect is their national user awareness program. Uh, these are some of the partners that we work with. Now, this doesn't all go all inclusive into partners within organizations like companies that may have adopted the program as well. So um, a lot of different regions, are, um, you may have a major organization like an ISP or a telephone organization like Telefonica that adopt this program and they're gonna use it in different regions even though the country may not have adopted it. So our goal is to get as many countries to sign an MOU and use this as their guiding campaign for user awareness. But sometimes governments move slowly. <laughs> I see a certain smile. I have some <laughs> background on there. But that doesn't mean we can't get into the region and make a difference. Uh, and this is where we need our partners to come on board and, and work with us and help us make these things happen. Um, if all goes well, we'll be adding another country this week, maybe. Um, it says coming soon, so we'll see. <laughs> Uh, again, um, everyone's on board. Again, it's just getting the, the government <laughs> wheels a turning. Um, so through the campaign, we've already established a lot of the ways to get things done. We have experience. So when somebody adopts, there's ways to say, as a nation, here's how to deploy this effectively. Um, when you get into the resources, there are teaching campaigns for, for, you know, a teacher can take something, adapt it to their class, and actually help their, their students get up to speed. There's all kinds of programs. There's videos. Um, you know, uh, Cisco helped us translate a lot of stuff. Microsoft produced a lot of videos. You know, all these companies, the deal is, you know, Microsoft made some cute little videos. They're really adorable with these little finger puppets to help educate users. Um, and they had some for themselves. Obviously, they branded them and put them on their website. But they also donated to the campaign completely without any marketing on them for us to use and distribute throughout Stop, Think, Connect to users. Um, I think it was RSA did a cute little, they got a bunch of kids together and they, the kids created a rap song and they made a video for it and it's available up there. So stuff like this, you know, goes back into the system and helps educate everyone. Um, so like we said, you know, the, we've got state campaigns to help them widespread this throughout their, their company or countries. We help provide a framework to increase the campaign's visibility worldwide and help disseminate these platforms out, okay? You know, with clear objectives and desired outcomes of where we want to go. 
And we're looking at now is, is how we set these schedules and start doing metrics and reporting as well. So we want to start looking at how are we doing? This has been this year we've started tracking the metrics within the Stop, Think, Connect campaign. We have a couple of meetings a year where we get the organizers that originally set up and sit on the board, and we look at how have we engaged, what has worked, what has not worked, and keep pushing this uh, forward and, and practice what we preach as well. You know, we go out and try to use these same campaigns. So, when we initially started in 2010, 2011, we set some base metrics to get it out here, get some countries adopted, get the resources and materials built, and establish a site. Um, we've got uh, Japan was one of our, our greatest adoptions. They came in and basically redid the entire YUB site in Japanese. So they have their own standalone site now, and they produce their own materials and put them back in, and we reuse a lot of that. And we hope to see that happening more in different areas around the world globally, so we can get this program going and again you know so when a user comes in they hear the same basic noise you know the same basic message and then below you may need to fine-tune that message a little because of you know particulars particularities within your country or within your culture but we're still saying the same message they see they still hear the same thing over and over again so some of the proponents on the ministers we're getting through here, you know, try to get this information out, um, looking at, uh, so businesses don't have to guess what does and doesn't work, much like the countries we were just saying. Um, they have these app, um, assets available. They've already been proven. Um, so you can m uh, minimize your ramp up time when you try to initiate a user awareness program within your organization. Um, you know, so it may be for your users. A lot of our banks that come on board, they want to use it for their own users, for their, their tellers and their people, their people working within the bank, but then as, year, as well for their customers to help make their customers aware of how to be safe um, when they're using online banking. Uh, so then within the company or within an enterprise, um, where to start your messaging? A lot of these um, uh, report outs are up on the site. Um, where does the messaging campaign end? You know, where does our slogan and logo stop? Where does your work locally begin? Um, and then uh, cultural industry geographical context. There's some stuff up here about that as well. And again, the common meme. All awareness efforts within, they're deployed and for everyone, for the cohorts. Um, a couple of other things I wanted to, to bring out here, because as we mentioned, I talked a little bit this morning, you know, APWG as an organization has done a lot around user awareness over the years. Um, one of the things we're starting up the second half of this year, um, we're just getting this pushed out. I mentioned this morning the uh, FaxBack program and the uh, um, landing redirect page. Uh, these we're, we're starting to revamp these now to bring them up to date because when they're, it's been six, seven years since they were originally deployed. Part of that process is we're going to rebrand them under Stop, Think, Connect instead of APWG. So they'll become another resource that's available to everyone as part of the Stop, Think, Connect program. Um, there's just an image of the two. Uh, this shows some of the different pages in the different languages uh, with the education. So this is when a user clicks a link, they automatically get redirected and they get a, uh, an update. Uh, the FaxBack program was adopted by a couple of ISPs for um, these, uh, they would send out these things, you know, fax us your information and, and we'll get you a free trip to Cancun or something. Uh, um, and it's a similar thing. When somebody sends something to that fax, they automatically, instead of, instead of that fax phone number going to the criminal, the user gets a fax back and says, hey, you were just scammed. Here's how not to let this happen in the future. So again, this is just some of our programs that we're adapting and we're going to move these over. The whole idea is to change the behavioral program, get our users to start thinking about what they're doing before they click on a link, just raise their awareness and education levels. 
Um, this was looking at some of our, our near-term development programs. You know, we want this to build out the steering committee, and we're working now to create a science advisory board. Um, this will be in conjunction. APWG has a science advisory board now, and part of what we want to do is take some of those and look at within the user awareness program, where can we do additional work um, to, for research in this area. Um, so education search committee, trying to get more information out. Um, propagation to partners, trying to get more both, both enterprise and country level partners. And then international trademarks, working now to get everything trademarked under the Madrid Convention so that all the Stop, Think, Connect in all the different languages are trademark protected. And, um, and hopefully we're going to bring in some more. We, we've actually brought in a couple of people to start helping us from a staff program to keep the program going forward. Um, like I said, I mentioned this morning, you know, we're a small group. We do what we can as we have resources. So looking at long term, going out, obviously constructing more resources to go into the campaign and keeping those resources up to date, okay? Obviously the internet evolves as it goes. Our message has to evolve and move with that. Um, continuing the clearinghouse effect, um, you know, so this is where APWG is, is, has a, a, a history of collecting information, cleansing that, and then pushing it back out in a clearinghouse model. That's essentially what the Stop, Think, Connect program does. So we take a lot of this information, we bring it back in and make it available for the broader um, audience. And then looking at long-term development so that we can con continue to, high, to um, coordinate this in the different regions and cultures because there are some differences there that, that we don't always take into consideration. Um, and that was pretty much it in 20 minutes, pretty good. For this <laughs> on Stop, Think, Connect, any questions about the campaign as a whole or um, how we're using it, how you can get involved? Shiver is the guy. <laughs> Any questions? Hi. Uh, what's the, in your experience? What's the best way to, to um, implement or to uh, make uh, or or take this program to a country? I mean, through the government? Usually through it's through, I mean, within our governments, pretty much every government has a program for disseminating information out to the, the people. And usually what we do is we sign an MOU at, with whatever government agency that may be in your local country. And then they have full access to the information to then take that and disseminate it. But, uh, What's the, the, the most important thing uh, for a government agency to have in order to, to have success in, in the implementation? I mean, is it important that uh, this agency has a good um, relationship with uh, media or? or well, media helps, uh, but usually a good um, public information campaign. I mean, most have programs for the, you know, um, only you can protect only you can stop forest fires campaigns, you know, or, or the, you know, where we put out the little emblem for recycling programs to make users aware, you know, user awareness programs within the um, country to get that information out um, using, uh, there's a word for it I'm trying to come up with. Um, Public awareness campaigns, you know, where they, you know, and, and they had set up programs for television um, commercials and stuff to get this information out. Most governments already have something in place for that, um, for user awareness about don't drink and drive or, or whatever. Those type programs are really useful at the government level, um, whereas at the corporate level, some of our organizations, some of our bigger ISPs, um, you know, they coordinate most of theirs with October, which is Cybersecurity Awareness Month. So when they send their invoices out for last month's phone bill, it'll have a little blurb in there about Stop, Think, Connect, here's a URL, here's some information. Um, so you see, that depending on whether you're coming at it from a corporate or a government entity, you may have a different approach. Uh, in your opinion, what's the, uh, the best impact, uh, starting fr uh, from a government agency or industry? Um, I think getting the government involved is a big push, okay. a big plus, because once the government entity in a country gets involved, you see lots of industry come on board after that. Because you know, when they see the government 
pushing this program, then they go, oh goodness, I don't have to create my own. I can just use this one and fall underneath their umbrella. Okay. Um, and, and that's really what we've seen has worked really well in the countries like um, Panama, Uruguay, the US, Canada, um, Spain's fixing to come on board. What they've found is by getting the government to adopt a single message, that brings a lot of the industry on board and then we get this out on a broader audience. I mean, it's a great thing. We're working with a couple of the larger um, banking um, conglomerates in Central and Eastern Europe right now who are, are pushing it because we're having problems getting the country governments to come on board. Um, but it's what we've seen is that that's kind of a, from the ground up. A lot of times it's easier if we can get the top and push it back down. I mean, that's just in my experience. But different cultures are obviously going to be a little different. Yeah. Thank more, you. Anyone else? More questions? Yeah, always me. Um, but uh, I, I just wanted to, to 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 because we are one of the the ones that that, that have signed, you know, and uh, and we are trying actually to 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 understand better how we can actually use that material. Right. So my, my main question is, if you guys have already developed some uh, strategies for, for, for getting the, the message along, or if you think of working more like, like a database where you can find the, inf the, the better information to be shared and then people develop their own ways of, of, uh, of using that information. This is one of the difficulties that we are having there. So I don't know if you have anything to comment about. Well, it. let's follow up on that because from my understanding in the resources on the site, some of that information is there now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, I know you guys are in a unique position because, as um, Christine mentioned earlier today, you know, CERT BR has been really good about creating user messages um, to put out within Brazil. Uh, you know, and we want to work with those guys to collaborate on that. Um, yeah, yeah. But that, you know, our goal is a little. Yeah, that, because that that's exactly the the, the 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 feeling is the same thing. We have some very good material, yeah, you know, but how how can we use that material, right? For example, we have we are already we are developing a, our own uh, initiative that is about education of uh, of uh, young children, uh, and yeah. where we are gonna have a, a it's a kind of a workshop, you know, mm -hmm. it's like some some uh, some some game so that they understand how the internet works and we are going to use yeah. that information the, for some some material we are thinking of using some sort BR material and stop thing connecting material mm -hmm. as supports to that so extra uh, after we do all the games and so we distribute some more information about other stuff right but maybe it would be it's just linking ideas for example maybe it would yeah. be a good idea of doing like the guys of the the, 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 the previous pre the presentation did to get some people from other areas to try and develop some um, some other ways of using the material that I exactly. think is really good. Yeah, exactly. And, and actually, I know a couple of campaigns we should talk about. Um, like the ESET group has done a real good job in Argentina um, pushing out a program. And they are coming on board now. They're going to become part of Stop, Think, Connect as well and use it with their existing program. Um, they've got a, had a real good experience and a lot of success in getting disseminating that image out um, and I know that was one of the programs I got involved with very early with them was um, one at, targeted at students where they, you know, a little workshop, it was a couple of hours, they come into the school, bring the kids in, and they actually had some of the kids on stage talking about their experiences and, you know, texting and using these different things and then had interviews and talks about, well, the dangers in doing that and have you thought of this, have you thought of that? And it was a really, really good program. So we should get some of those together. Any more questions? Comments? Okay. okay. So thank you very much, Foy. Thank you.